Assalamu alaikum, this is Dr. Ahmed al first Today we are going to answer one question, the star question from May 2020. And this question here, what do we have? We have a graph, acceleration time graph. And in this graph, they ask about a sky divergence from an airplane and accelerates until she reaches the terminal velocity at time t1 here. She opens the parachute and a second lower terminal velocity she reach here. Okay, before landing safely at T2 at this moment. The acceleration time graph of the motion is shown here. Okay, explain the shape of the graph. You should refer to the forces act on the skydiver six marks. Now, as we know that in the star questions, we have to mention six, seven different ideas to get four marks. And how we can link these ideas to make a uh, a good explanation. These are another what two marks. So what do we have here? Initially, from rest, okay, there is no drag. So initially, from rest, there is no drag. What do we have here? Initially, from rest, she falls at low speed so there is no drag there is no drag or air resistance air resistance on her making her resultant force making the resultant force on her is only her weight down, making the resultant force is her weight down, downward, downwards. So the acceleration is maximum. Then, as the speed increases, as the speed increases, the air resistance what increases as the speed increases, the air resistance increases. making her resultant force from the weight down and the air resistance up decreases and also her acceleration decreases. Until what? Until the air resistance cancels her weight, or balances her weight, it's better, balances her weight, making no resultant force, no resultant force, and no acceleration to fall at terminal velocity. All this before what T1, she opens the parachute, okay? 
Now, as she opened the parachute, she is at a high speed, okay? Falls at terminal velocity, okay, with high speed. With high, what? High speed. Down, okay? Now, as she opened the parachute, now what will happen here, okay? As she opens, what? The parachute. The parachute at T1 to have what large surface area to have large surface area at high speed the air resistance. the air resistance upwards is greater than hair weight downwards downwards making her making her speed decreases by the deceleration shown and as the speed decreases And as the speed decreases, the air resistance decreases to reduce the resultant force opposing the motion, opposing the motion until the air resistance at lower speed balances Her weight to have no resultant force and no acceleration to fall at lower terminal velocity. So like this, Shabab, we get what the whole marks in this type of question. We uh, get all the ideas, all the linkage, and we get six out of six according to the mark scheme. Here you can see the mark scheme. The acceleration is maximum, okay, initially. As the velocity increases, air resistance increases. The resultant force decreases until become to zero and diver reaches thermal velocity or eventually forces are balanced the dive reach thermal velocity. At T1, the air resistance increases greater than her weight. That skydiver decelerates or the resultant force now it's upward negative to the motion. Second, second terminal velocity at lower, okay, which is lower because the air resistance is equal to the weight at lower, at lower velocity. And that's it.